Have you ever tried using catfish to make palm oil stew and you don't really know how to go about it? Worry no more because in this video I will be teaching you how you can make your palm oil stew with catfish. Okay, so this is catfish palm oil stew and rice and beans and I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve this palm um, oil catfish stew and this rice and beans. So the first thing I will be doing now is to parboil my rice. Okay, meanwhile, please like this video and make sure you, you share the video. So I add some water inside the pot I allow it, and I allow it to boil out. I now went ahead and add my rice. I will wash the rice and then parboil it. Meanwhile, my beans is already on the fire. I've already um, washed the beans. You can see. Now I allow it to cook for some while, like 14 minutes, and I will go back and check it. And here is my tomatoes, my tatashi pepper, my habanero pepper. Anyway, I really don't have uh, enough tomatoes at home. So, so guys, I step out to buy some tomatoes to add to this one I have. And I also bought onions because my onions was finished too. So, the two came at 6 euro 85 cents because the tomatoes was 2 kilo, while the onions was also... 2 kilo you can see 6 euro 85 cents things are really really expensive now eh? so the next thing i will do now is to wash all the tomatoes but i'm not going to blend all the tomatoes i will just add some to the one i have and i, I will not also blend the tatashi pepper and the habanero pepper and onions together with the tomatoes i'm going to boil them separately okay so the next thing I do is to check on my beans and you can see my beans is cooking very well. I really want the beans to be very soft. Here is my blended tomato. I'm already steaming it, you can see. And the next thing I will do now is to add some water into the pot and add some salt. This is the water I want to use to boil my rice because I've already washed it before. So now it's time to cook the rice. So I add some salt inside my pot and now I'll go ahead and add the rice inside but let me tell you one secret about steaming boiling rice and me if you really want your rice to come out very well you don't want it to be too soft except you like except you are that type that like your rice to be soft but if you're not that type that like your rice to be very very soft make sure you add in a little water like let the water not too much okay let the heat cook your rice not water all right so you achieve a very nice um boiled rice so the next thing i did is to uh, put my pot on the fire because it's time for us to make our palm oil stew so i add my pot in the fire and i'll allow it to heat for some second or minutes because this this my gas is very very fast this my this my electric gas cooker is very very fast so i allow the pot to heat and then i go ahead and add some palm oil I will allow the oil to heat a little bit and then not bleach and then I'll go ahead and add some um, vegetable oil yes I add some vegetable oil into it because today I did not use only palm oil so yeah here, here is me adding some vegetable oil now allow this vegetable oil and the palm oil to heat together for like one minute and then I'll go ahead and add my slice onions okay please if you're watching this to those points and you've not yet liked this video please please it's time for you to like the video all right it's supporting by liking the video share my video and also drop your comments what you think about the video so i'm adding the slice onion now let me tell you another secret about making palm oil stew don't be stingy with your onions palm oil stew need enough onions you can see it need enough onions so please don't be stingy with your with your onions okay so the next thing i will do now is to add my blended tatashi and my banana pepper yes it is this is only the tatashi and banana pepper i i have not added the tomatoes so add your pepper and the tatashi pepper together and then cook it for some minutes before you go ahead and add your steamed tomatoes remember you've already steamed the tomatoes and doesn't need enough cooking again so it's only the pepper and the pepper that you have to cook for a little bit before you add your tomatoes okay so but before then i'll go ahead and add some seasoning cube this is my vegetable seasoning cube i've shown if you have been watching my video i've already shared this seasoning cube with you guys before so i 
add my vegetable uh, seasoning cube and then I go ahead and added my uh, aromat. I can't do without aromat because it's everything. See, it's a game changer. Okay, so after adding the aromat, it's like all purple seasoning though. So after adding it, I went ahead and I added my blended tomato. You can see how thick the tomatoes was because I've already steamed it. I steam it not too much, but I just steam it like because I don't want too much water in my palm oil seal. Okay, so I added it and I'm going to give it a very nice stir. So people, some of you will be wondering now why is she not adding salt? Calm down. Just calm down. Okay, I will add salt, but calm down. First of all, the catfish I used. Hmm? While I was drying this catfish, I added enough salt into the catfish. So, for that reason, I will add my catfish first. You can see me adding it. So, after adding the catfish, I will allow it to cook together with the salt for some minutes. And then I will go ahead and check. I will test the stew. Test my stew to see if the salt I added in this catfish have already dissolved into the stew. And if it's enough, remember, salt is not as in is not so good to be eating salt too much because when you eat salt too much, it can cause BP. Yes, it can make your BP to be very high. So be careful how you eat a lot of salt, okay. So, I've already added my catfish into the spam oil stew, mamma mia. Just check out this stew. I've, I've not even brought it down, but like this now, I just want to eat this stew with, together with my rice and beans. So, guys, I check on the stew. I tested it and the salt was not too much so it wasn't enough so i went ahead and add a little bit of salt you can see i, I added a little bit of salt so right now right away i'll be adding my blended crayfish you know they do one small small if you know what you do to, if you are not watching this video to this point meaning you are really missing because some of you you don't watch my video to the end you just watch like 50 second 30 second and then you 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 zoom off so if you are that kind of person i know you will not be seeing this part but for those of you that already watched this part god bless you thank you so much okay so i added my blended crayfish and now i'm going to give it a very nice day my pot was too small like after adding this catfish i noticed that the pot was very very small but at this point it's too late to turn back I can't change another pot, so I just have to use this one. So pardon me, guys. I know some of you say, well, the pot is so small now. Can you just change this pot? But it's too late. It's too late, my people. So I just have to use it. Okay. So this is how I really achieve this catfish palm oil stew. You can see I wanted to add some vegetable, but I changed my mind. I said, no. Let me just leave it like this. Um, this food was given. See, if you see the way I rush this food, then I rush this food like, like say the 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 new release me from prison. I rush the food. Hmm. Look at that. Look at that, guys. If you're watching this video to those points and you have not yet even follow my page or like this video, see you are not doing a lot of good though. You are doing me bad. You are doing me shaggy. Please like this video. Follow my page. If you are watching from my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be konunu. Please now. Just look. Are you not seeing? Do you, don't you like what you see? Eh? Please support me by liking the video. Follow my page. And share my video. Drop your comment down below what you think about this, this video. Okay. Thank you all so much for being here. Here is the finishing part. My rice and beans and palm oil stew and catfish. This is how you can achieve it. So, thank you all so much, guys. See you in my next one. See you then. Bye-bye.